If you have missed the previous videos on instructional coaches' roles, please do check the links in the description below. And today I am going to talk about two more roles, professional learning facilitator and a resource provider. So we already know that instructional coach will have to gather data, information about students by observing in the classroom. We need to also identify the teacher's strengths. What are the things that the teachers can do very well? What are the strategies that they implemented successfully? And you might notice that other teachers are struggling with it. Then you know that these good teachers that you can empower to share their best practices with their colleagues, with their peers. And to tell you the truth, after serving as instructional coach for many years, I find that teachers trust the sharing from other teachers who have implemented the skills or techniques or strategies in their own classroom with their own students. Therefore, it is crucial when we observe teachers we do look at their strengths and we can empower them to be teacher leaders. Teacher leaders are teachers who are able to model best practices and who can influence other teachers to try out new strategies, new techniques and to really support other teachers to implement changes. So imagine if we have developed many teacher leaders in that school then that school will be a learning institution. An instructional coach designs and facilitates professional learning opportunities. We do create those opportunities for teachers. We can design these um, professional learning um, activities with the teachers based on the needs and the requirement of the policies. So if we know that the teachers are struggling with questioning techniques, then we can design a specific learning session where we identify good teachers in that area to share. And they then have that workshop that they can discuss together in a group collaboratively on how they can implement those strategies in their own classroom. You may want to uh, do professional learning opportunities like getting peers to observe each other and then do reflection together and then they can give meaningful feedback. So we guide them in doing so. In school, sometimes they don't see the need. We as instructional coaches, we go to many of the classrooms and we can see the overview, the overall picture of what are the needs of the teachers in that school. From that information, we can discuss with the school leaders to design the professional learning activities that are suitable to meet the needs of the teachers. We do know teachers who are good in, in certain areas or strategies or techniques and these are the sources that we can encourage them to um, share their best practices to other teachers as they learn better from their peers. Another thing that we can help teachers with is by being a resource provider. I know teachers can look for materials themselves. However, there are times when the teachers are very busy with their other tasks that they don't really have time to sit down and look for the resources. We as instructional coaches can do that to support them. So we can identify materials to enhance classroom instruction and students' achievement. We can share research insights and instructional best practices. And we can align these resources with the students' needs. Instructional coaches as professional learning facilitator, we design, we facilitate, we find teachers who are capable of sharing new practices, new ideas. Uh, we identify teacher strengths in certain areas that we think might be useful for other teachers to learn from and we create that safe space for them to share and we can support them in that activities through building their skills in reflection, empowering them and we can be the resource provider to support the teachers in finding materials that are suitable for their students' needs. We don't have to enforce them to use it. 
but they know that it's available if they did it. It can be a topic for discussion as well when you do coaching with them or when you do professional learning activities. You can also get them to discuss materials that are available which they can use, which they need to adapt. So we focus on supporting them to grow as better educators with the hope that all those learnings, all those resources will help them gain confidence in trying out various strategies to enhance their students' learning. And that's it. In the next video, I will talk about three key instructional coaching models. If you do not want to miss that, please consider subscribing to my channel and I'll meet you in the next video.